In this example, we are going to see absolute value function and how to plot a function uh, that includes absolute value. A, B, C are three functions. We will plot them and compare. The main problem in plotting several functions is their domain and the range. They may not be scaled if you directly plot in graph and then it becomes little bit uh, difficult to uh, get the graph in the center of the screen. So we'll go and oh, this came. So it's better to plot the graph first with a table. So we choose table, then we execute. And so here you can input the absolute value function. But there is no key for putting absolute value. You may do ABS, but this will give error because this is not, for example, here, this is not the syntax which is accepted. And so if you execute and then if you go up here, and say table, you get syntax error. So that's the reason we should use only the syntax which is permitted and how to find that. So we'll delete this with F2, then F1, and say options. Here, the options this is another good function so let me exit this and explain this is a table function and this is the menu but there is no clue as to how one can put the absolute value function there this button option button comes to help so you press option then you get some options here let's see what this continuation means and certainly they don't uh, they are not the ones that we want so we'll again go back to and we'll see what the numeric is and there it is the absolute value function is here then you say f1 then the first function was x now if you execute it gets accepted not only that if you want to see the table F6, you can see the table. When you see the values, that means it's working. So we exit. Again, we need the absolute value function. So we say numeric F1. The second function was X minus 5 here and then X plus 3. So, x minus 5, execute, option f5, x plus 3, and execute. Here, we inserted all three functions correctly. Let us see the table. So if you see the table, your y value here is 0, here it is 8, so 0 is the minimum. And maximum is 6. the x value is minus 3 to 3. So let us see how this looks. Most likely we will have to change the scale to make it look proper. So we go back to graphing mode. 
if you say uh, there it is but this is only points we don't want points so we'll exit and we'll go to actual graph so exit menu this is graph now if you say graph it will show the graph there are the graphs and it already put minus 18 to 18 and this is pretty uh, well adjusted maybe previously i plotted and the range was already selected properly but you may have to uh, do a little bit trial and error here in the v window you can change it's like x is minus 20 to 20 and then y minus 2 to 12 adjust this and you will be able to get the graph in the center so if you want to move the graph up you simply move it like this now it's good idea to do the trace points so if you say f1 that is trace this point in order to plot it you will have to execute that so it gets selected when you say trace again the point will show there so we chose this point now again if you go trace the graph that we are working for tracing is the blue one now we want to go and do the green or the red one and let's see where it goes so it is now the graph changed now you don't need to move this using this arrow keys it's too slow so simply you put the x value you remember this graph is x minus 5 so the value of interest is x equal to 5 so x equals 5 execute so it goes directly there when you execute again it will bring the point when you press stress the point will show there that's how then let's again go back to the green graph so we go here and it went back to here is green so same thing we go x and we want x as minus 3 minus 3 so we execute there it is if you execute the point shows up if you press stress the point will be seen that's what we wanted and so this is the graph of the three functions and that's the end of the clip